So we begin from the nation's capital, where the meeting between the federal government and the Nigerian Labour Congress to avert the planned strike ended today without a tangible resolution to the union's demands. The Minister of Labour and Employment, um, Simon Lalong, and Minister of State for Labour and Employment, Nkiru Kanye Jocha, met with the NLC president, Joe Ajero, and other leaders in Abuja in an effort to stop organized labour from embarking on another industrial action. The meeting is expected to continue at a later date. The minister is also expected to hold a similar meeting with the leadership of the Trade Union Congress today. The on-pass followed Mr. Lalong's invitation to the NLC for a meeting in light of the union's planned nationwide strike owing to the removal of few subsidies and the hardship in the country. I hear that belief that something will happen. But that doubt, that trust gap is going to be filled for a long time now. <clears throat> and it calls for lamentation. We agree with you that there is need for productivity and for an all inclusive engagement. And you talked about the effect of the strike <clears throat> that might have uh, taken place in the last few weeks or months. I, I think we should look at it from the point of cause and effect. The strike is an effect of a policy that doesn't have much to say. There was no strike before the issue of removal of the of the and promises. In fact, it was the government that said, as for palliative, as for wage, and we have asked for it, and we couldn't get in. I appear before you today not just as a representative of the government, but as an advocate for constructive dialogue aspiring to understand your concerns and working hand in hand to find lasting solutions that benefit all Nigerians. I fully acknowledge and appreciate the invaluable role the NLC plays in championing for the rights and welfare of our workers. Your dedication and tireless advocacy have been critical in, shape, in shaping a fair and inclusive work environment and ensuring the well-being of our workforce. We acknowledge the valid grievances that have fueled the recent labor crisis and we are committed to addressing them in a just and equitable manner. And that was a meeting between the federal government and the representative of the Nigeria Labor Congress. Now, for further perspective on that meeting, I am being joined on the news by the General Secretary of the Nigeria Labor Congress, Emmanuel Boadja. Good to have you join us. Thank you for having me. So give us an idea of what happened um, in that meeting today and, and the resolutions you were able to reach. Well, it was a meeting that was called by the Minister of Labor in his capacity as uh, the mediating authority with regards to disputes in the world of work in Nigeria. And uh, that was the first time we are meeting with him. And he then tried to get uh, a handle on uh, what the issues are. And we let the issues bear to him. And clearly, these are not issues that will be resolved by mediation. They are issues that will be resolved by the parties taking concrete steps to meet uh, the expectations of each other. So uh, right now, the ball is in the court of the federal government. So the mediator has gotten a clear understanding of what the issues are. So it's remaining for the party on the other side to make the move that will have the issues resolved. And are these issues um, issues arising from the few subsidy removal, or they, they are long running issues you've had with um, several governments before now? They are not long running issues. They are straightforward issues that came out from the president's pronouncement on May 29 that subsidy is gone. And the uh, subsidy being gone, uh, what it meant was that prices of petroleum products, particularly uh, petrol, moved from 185 to 500, 600, and 700 naira, as the case may be in you know, any other, uh, in, in several parts of the country. So clearly, it's not about any other government. It's a challenge that comes squarely from the stable of this current administration, and uh, we're expecting that resolution to come from them. 
from that arose the challenge of what happens to a, a, a worker who used to transport himself on his basic minimum wage of 30,000 when Pedro was 185. What happens to him? That Pedro has become 500, 600, 700, and transportation has gone uh, off the roof. What happens to him? Food products have gone up. What happens to him? Housing has gone up. What happens to him? Cost of health has gone up. What happens to him? His children schooling, both fees and uh, transportation for them to school. What happens to them? So that is the challenge that we're trying to get resolved. What are the issues, the palliative issues on the table? What is the wage award being put on the table? Mm. What are the alternative means of transport that government and, and has Mr. Borja, that, that's exactly where I was going because this issue has been, has been, this issue has been going on for more than three months now. You've had several meetings with the, the federal government. You have called, um, you have had a protest, you have called for strike, but it, it looks like you know, there are still issues of contention. What are the major, major issues you, 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 you know, that have not been addressed by the federal government? No single one has been addressed, topless of which has not been addressed. No way the award has been given by government. No palliative has been given by government. No um, uh, CNG buses, alternative means has been provided by government. So those are the issues in contention. The challenge of our refineries not working is still on the, on the table. So none of the issues have been resolved. Wage award doesn't need uh, rocket science. It doesn't need four months of meeting. We are not talking about discussing minimum wage review. No, it's award, award on wages as a result of the impact, the, the, the immediate impact of uh, the removal of subsidy. So uh, those issues have not been taken. None of them have been uh, resolved. So clearly, Four months down the road, we're still where we are. Hmm. We understand that this meeting has now been, um, will continue at a later date. We'll see how that plays out. Thank you so much for talking to us. The General Secretary of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Emmanuel Ubuaja. Thank you for having me.